Vaccinations have been controversial ever since uh, Edward Jenner introduced the first one against smallpox way back in the 18th century. Well, since then, of course, we've had a slew of vaccines that have come on the market, vaccines against polio, vaccines against yellow fever, vaccines against the flu. And they have been incredibly successful. We have wiped out smallpox. Polio is on the verge of being wiped out. In North America, it is hardly ever seen. But the controversy persists. Uh, the MMR vaccine, which is given routinely to children, has been linked with autism in a totally scientifically illegitimate fashion. In fact, studies have shown that when you look at children who have been vaccinated and those who have not, the incidence of autism is exactly the same among those, those groups. Well, why are we talking about this now? Because when we first started to hear about vaccines against COVID-19 coming on the market, I already had a fear because I knew that if someone gets the vaccine and gets sick in some unrelated way, they're going to link it together. And we are seeing this. Obviously, when lots of people are getting vaccinated, there will be some who will have various reactions totally irrelevant in terms of the vaccine. People get sick. And if you get sick at the time when you just got the vaccine, you have the, the chance of linking it uh, to it. I mean, this is something that we have seen over the years. Uh, we saw it uh, recently with the AstraZeneca vaccine and blood clots. There were some people who got the vaccine, got blood clots, very few out of 17 million people, you had only about 25 or 30 people with blood clots. Well, when statisticians look at this, they say, gee, the incidence of that is exactly the same in, as in the general population. There's no increase. However, in people's minds, there is because someone noticed that they had a blood clot, they got the vaccine, and uh, they looked at this association and turned it into a cause and effect relationship. However, now we know, because statisticians have looked at this, that there is no increased risk of blood clots with that vaccine. Now, the other reason that people are concerned about the AstraZeneca vaccine is because its effectiveness is somewhat less than the Pfizer or the Moderna. The statistics that are being quoted, over 90% effectiveness for Moderna and Pfizer, and only about 70% or so for AstraZeneca. I've looked at these numbers. And while they are statistically significant, we can't put too much emphasis on them because they are very small numbers. Now, for example, in the uh, Pfizer study, there were 44,000 people, 22,000 in the placebo arm, 22,000 in the vaccine arm. And they were vaccinated, and then you wait to see who gets the disease. And in all, out of those 44,000 people, only about 160 got positive symptoms from COVID-19. Well, most of those, 90% of them, were in the placebo group. So this is where the 90% comes from. In the AstraZeneca study, they were only 70% in the placebo group. But we're talking about numbers like 150 or 160. That is not a very large uh, number to, to base extrapolations on. Well, luckily, we are seeing uh, by the Israeli experience, that the 90% for Pfizer seems to hold true even in the general population. But I think refusing a vaccine because you think that it is a few percent less effective is totally scientifically wrong. Because what we should be looking at is the benefit to society as a whole. And the more people get vaccinated, it doesn't matter how, the greater the chance that we're going to achieve herd immunity. You cannot apply statistics to individuals. We apply them to populations at large. In order for the population at large to benefit, go and get your vaccine. It doesn't matter if it's Pfizer. It doesn't matter if it's Moderna. It doesn't matter if it's Johnson & Johnson. And it certainly doesn't matter if it's AstraZeneca. The important thing is to get out there and get your vaccine. The side effects are, are remarkably uh, low, and the benefits are potentially great. So I am not concerned that the AstraZeneca vaccine is a few percentage point uh, lower in efficacy than the others, because as far as the overall population goes, we are going to benefit no matter which vaccine you're getting.